In the next question, that is uh, question 93, which is based on uh, the chapter gravitation, you have been given uh, the value of gravitational potential and the value of acceleration due to gravity. It says that at what height from the surface of the earth, the gravitational potential and the value of g are given values are there respectively. So this is uh, a kind of formula in which let us suppose you use the formula of gravitational potential as minus gm upon r plus h. So this will be giving you the value minus 5.4 into 10 to the power 7 as you can see it has been given to you. And uh, the value of acceleration due to gravity can also be called gravitational field intensity. So the expression is minus gmm by r plus h whole square. So if you are taking the positive value, so I am just deleting this negative sign, I am writing it as uh, 6, you understand. So if you divide it, then you will be getting this value of h. The value of r has already been, already been given in the question that is 6400 kilometer. So dividing will give you the value of h as 2600 kilometer, you understand. So for that matter, if you look at the option, this is option 2, you will be marking as the correct answer for this question 93. Now let us uh, look at the next question that is question 94. In the next question which is uh, based on self induction and very simple question, straightforward formula based you can say, a long solenoid has 1000 turns, number of turns that has been given. When a current of 4 ampere flows through it, the magnetic flux linked with each turn is given. So if you multiply it to total number of turns, total number of turns, then you will be getting the total flux. And then you are supposed to uh, find out the self inductance. So you simply use the formula phi is equal to Li. So here number of flux, amount of flux you can have that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 1000 because there are total 1000 turns. This is equal to L into current, current is 4 ampere. So straight away you can see L is equal to coming out to be 1 Henry. So I will be marking answer 1 for this particular question 94. Now let us look at uh, next question that is question 95. Now this uh, question 95 is based on uh, alternating currents. This is again a formula based question in which you are supposed to calculate the power loss. You have been given the value of inductor 20 milli Henry, capacitor value 50 microfarad and the value of resistance as 40 ohm. They have been connected in series and the source EMF has been given 10 sin 340T. You know that this is peak value, you can calculate the RMS value of that. The power loss in AC circuit. So you see power loss you can always use IRMS square R, you understand? IRMS square R. Now IRMS has not been given to you directly. So you can use VRMS by Z whole square into R. This is what you have to calculate. Now you see the value of VRMS is calculated from here 10 by root 2. Understand? The value of Z you have to calculate R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square under root. So this is the expression that will be giving you the value of z. So you can substitute here. What is omega? Omega is 340. You can see here. And uh, rest of the things have been given. Value of L, value of C, everything has been given. So if you substitute that, you can calculate and the value will finally come out to be 0.51 watt. So for that matter, I will be marking the answer. This uh, second one for this question. Now let us uh, look at next question. That is question 96. In this uh, next question, that is question 96, it's a very straightforward question and uh, repetitively it has been asked. So you can always uh, solve this uh, question with the help of some dimensional analysis. Here it says that two identical charge spheres suspended from a common point by two massless strings of length L are initially at a distance d apart because of their mutual repulsion. So it's a kind of two simple pendulum suspended. Now the charges begin to leak from both the spheres, so naturally the repulsion will be getting reduced. As a result, the spheres approach each other, of course, they will be coming closer with a velocity v. Now you have to find out how v is dependent on x. Now you see, the acceleration 
is uh, dependent on force and force is dependent on Coulomb's law. So here you can say force which is proportional to 1 by x square and here you can say acceleration is proportional to 1 by x square. So I can say m v dv by dx that is proportional to 1 by x square. So you can clearly see this is v square and this is 1 by x. So v becomes proportional to x raised to the power minus half. So straight forward you can mark the answer 4 for this particular question. So that was the answer to question 96. Now let us look at next question that is question 97.